I didn't sleep much. And so I would take pills to go to sleep or smoke pot. And I also worked in a bar at the time. They didn't ask how old I was, so I didn't tell them. Um, and I'd take any pill that would get me up in the morning and I would take something for, you know, a bit of afternoon entertainment. I tried an H-bomb once, the heroin, just swallowed it. Didn't really do much for me at all. Fucking NOS is a quite a funny drug. Um, ethanol, rush, shit you snort, that's quite funny. They, they work good together. Ketamine's good, I mean, trips are good, but there's different little, you gotta use them together. I mean, weed and crack are quite opposite, but I use them together. When I was on trips, I'd like to snort K, and take ethanol and NOS at the same time. That was like a different drug in itself. And then there was like speed, like goey and bass and, and coke and shit like that. That was just like another whole, you know, just sort of depended what you felt like that day, for that week, a month or whatever. I didn't like the taste of alcohol. So I wouldn't, so I didn't use alcohol to come off the crack. I used heroin and then soon enough, like I had a, a heroin addiction too, which is, you know, had to be maintained. And um, yeah, it took a long time to uh, finally break the habit. Started with drinking. Um, when I discovered I used speed in my first year at university because one of my uh, chums, uh, the parent was a doctor and there were bottles of, you know, methadrine and dexedrine. Um, pot, 68. Smoked opium in Saigon in 69. Loved it. Acid. Um, about the only drugs I didn't abuse were barbiturates. I never liked those. I know with special K, I was given pure K, and um, I went into a K coma or whatever you, you call it. Um, I know with GBH as well, um, that happened too. So those are really frightening. And E as well, I got hypothermia a couple of times, especially when I was very low in weight and my body would just shut down the organs and um, I couldn't warm up again. One time um, someone popped something in my mouth when I was in a club and it dissolved real quick. I think it was pure MDMA and for three days I went majorly overdosing on E and my boyfriend had to keep me awake or lose me. Crack kind of speeds up your heart and heroin does the opposite and it could really do like more damage than just doing the one, the one drug. But at the same time, I think doing that, doing those both in combination actually probably saved my life when I tried to kill myself. <laughs> it sounds strange, but um, true. <laughs> it's, not, it's often not the drug, it's the way you use it. And one of the many early revelations I had was that instead of using drugs like a tool, I used them like a, like a club to club myself into submission. So, you know, in my days of drug, heavy drug use, I'd chain smoked pot. Even though I was shooting all the time, I would, I'm in India in the morning, the first thing I'd do, the first thing I'd do would be to have a taste. The second thing I'd do with the taste inside me would be to sit and roll my hash joints for the day, and I'd roll 20. K, MDMA, oh, a bit of P. P was always quite a boring drug. It was always one of those like at the end of a weekend when I'd run out of everything else on a Sunday night, maybe I'd take some pee because it was there. But it's a really boring drug. I don't understand the, the appeal. And never have I thought, oh, you know, I could really go a bit more of that. Like, I don't know, it just, maybe I'm lucky that it doesn't fascinate me like it does others. In fact, I'd definitely say that I'm lucky. Um, mm, yeah. Uh, Lots of MDMA. MDMA was definitely my drug of choice. And pot. Pot's just easy. It's quite a social drug. It's really... Mm. And I smoked as well. Again, it was a kind of a boredom thing. If I had nothing to do, I'd go and buy a pack of cigarettes and smoke them.